Hey, what's up, guys? This is um Copper here, and um I'm still my account is bad, but I'll get on stats updates and stuff about it. But anyway, I'm on my alternate account, and um the stuff I got from the transport locker and Calica cases, which were from Spies vs Scorpion, uh, it's went in my inbox for quite a while now. So I thought uh, maybe I'd do a review on it. And uh, since I'm not sure what I should do first, um. I guess I choose. Uh, I'll choose the. I'll choose to review the M four seventeen SB today. Um, quite a rare gun to find, and yeah, I'm going to review it today. Uh, I'll turn up the graphics of mine a little bit to record, since yeah. Uh, so you guys can have a better view of the gun and stuff and the gameplay. All right. Um, this is Copper here. Uh, make a review on the M four seventeen SB. All right. See you guys in. Game. What's up, guys? This is um, Copper back here with the M4 17 SB review. Um, I like to say first that the M4 17 SB one of the best guns I've ever tried out although it's really rare I got this out of the spider vs scorpion calico case I believe now you can only get out of the supply mist then you gotta gamble to get it but if you do definitely renew it it is just one of the I don't know how to say it one of the best assault rifles um, in the game um, if I compare this to M416 CQB, M417 SB is better. Although, um, stat wise might be just different, I still think that the M417 SB is better than M416 CQB. I wish I could renew this gun, but this is on my alternate account. I don't spend NX on this. I'm really sad, but hey, at least I got to try it out for a couple of hours and then I sold it back for. 1k GP, which is alright actually. Um, this gun is just amazing. It's, um, it's got, it's just like the, I think the ultimate upgrade of the M417 series. Um, after the M417 combat, it just comes to M417 SB. M417 SB has a, a really, um, nice sniper scope. Which I really love. It has really good tap firing capability. Um, the tap firing rate of this gun is, in my opinion, faster than the G36E in tap firing, but not as fast as the XM8. X, XM8, in my opinion, is the best in tap firing for its speed because it's so bouncy. This is bouncy too, but it's not as bouncy as the um, the XM8. So basically, um, M417 uh, ammo capacity is just like the RC7, and um, let me check, is it the same as the M417, oops, is it the M same as M417, no it's not, the M417 combat has a 30 slash 90 round, which is 120 bullets in total, um, the M417 SB is just like the RC7, has a 35 slash 105 um, ammo capacity which has 5 more bullets in the magazine which I find quite useful and it has 20 extra rounds which is really really useful alright um uh, attachments you can add a suppressor although I wouldn't recommend one it's up to you anyway um, scope it already has a sniper scope which is awesome and magazine it's got really fast reload time. It's just pop it, popping it back in, and I definitely recommend people to put on um, Extend Magazine one. It won't slow down the reload time at all. Um, anyway, um, it's up to you if you want to put an Extend Magazine. I find 35 rounds, 35 rounds in the magazine quite useful, quite enough actually. So, um, comparing to the well, this is of course the M4 series, like the M4A1, M4 16, M4 17 series. Um, I'll get on um, stats in this gun. Um, 
M417. By the way, um, I recorded the footage before this on the M417 SP, which now I decide I'm going to use in my montage because that game I got rage kicked out because I was owning everyone. I think I was like um, 21 to 2 and they kicked me because I got um, collateral uh, multi. But yeah, uh, this gameplay is like just on the one I wasn't kicked. But if you want to see the one that um, which I was kicked out of, you'll see the kills in the montage, which I'll release um, really soon actually because I'm still working on it. Um, couldn't finish it all this week. Probably release in one or two weeks time. Now stat wise, um, I'll be comparing the M417 SB to the RC7 Rangers. Um, damage wise, it's got 41 point damage, which is um, one point more damage than the RC7 Rangers in 40. Um, quite high actually. I like I like the. Um, it's just you can't even really um, test out the damage because. Oh, you can test it out, but I just I just got off topic on it so much because it's so sexy. Okay, sorry for my bad language there, but it's just an absolutely sexy gun. Um, port portability on the RAC7 Rangers is 66 compared to the M417's 64. Um, M417 SP isn't as portable as many of the other assault rifles and stuff. I have, uh, I have to say, it. oh my god, I can't speak to it, I mean it. Um, rate of fire is a 74 point here compared to the RAC 7 Rangers, 76. Um, I do believe that the RAC 7 Rangers has um, a faster rate of fire than the M417 SB. M417 SB has a pretty fast rate of fire in my opinion as well, but the RAC 7 Rangers is a tad faster, a little tad faster. Um, accuracy wise, the um, RC7 Rangers comes with a sniper scope as well. So, the M417 SB and the RC7 Rangers can be compared as the same too. So, the. Oh god, I. Alright. Um, the RC7 Rangers are accuracy point 85 compared to the accuracy point of 80 on the M417 SB. Um, if this is true stat wise, the RC7 Rangers is accurate, more accurate than um, the more accurate than the RC7 Rangers but in tap firing the RC7 Rangers the recoil is just too high to handle M417 is a lot lot better and recoil um, the RC7 Rangers has a 65 point recoil compared to the M417 SB's 62 point um, definitely the RC7 Rangers has a high recoil but the M417 has low recoil and a controllable recoil pattern as well so um, basically from hearing all those now, um, M417 SB, Aeroplan for close quarters, you can shoot from the hip, like Death Room and stuff, but if it's like the map I'm playing right now, like Hello, Hello Ravine, and those, when it's medium to long ranges, definitely I recommend to tap fire. Um, if you go full auto with this and scope, it will go up, the recoil pattern will go up, most resulting in most likely headshot, but if it goes out of control, let it calm down for a bit and then just go back alright um and also I forgot to mention that the M417 SB also has um, a burst fire mode which um is quite effective if you're shooting from hit from long range medium to long range but I don't really find the burst fire mode that necessary since it's already got an integrated sniper scope which can tap fire really efficient with it so overall if you get this gun I strongly, strongly recommend you renew it. In my opinion, I believe it's better than the M416 CQB. Number one reason, it's got, it's got sniper scope. Number two reason, way faster reload time and stuff. Well, that M416 CQB is a, a lot of people's favorite weapon. I believe the M417 SB is a really good weapon too. So, you gotta gamble for this gun anyway. But if you do get strongly recommend you um renew this anyway um i will whoa crap um anyway uh i'll skip to the end of the game and hopefully you guys like this review so basically um yeah all right i'll see you guys next time uh th 
being happy to do this M4 Cemetery review with you guys. Alright, see you guys next time.